today is Tuesday. Mickey is off over here with the pressure washer. Matt is on the John Deere skidder. Michael is sick. Um, so we're short-handed today. We ought to be all right. I think we're gonna be all right. I think. But, you can see the clouds, it's trying to rain. It's supposed to rain here in a minute. And it's supposed to lay off a little bit. And then this afternoon, it's supposed to really go to raining. So I'm trying to get us on the back side of this track in that corner over there across an SMZ before we it, it rains too much. So, we're, uh, Brady is, I don't think y'all can see him, but he's sitting just over top of that John Deere skitter. You can just see the boom through the bushes. Uh, he come up here opening something up for the skitter. Something about the skitter couldn't, couldn't make a turn or something like that. Them rows start running at a funny angle away from the road. He's got some fork trees over here we're going to come pick up. And, uh, We've loaded, let's see, we've loaded two already today on top of the three from yesterday. So we're five ahead right now. Yeah. And we're pressure washing the eliminator, getting the radiator nice and clean on it. It was getting to be pretty dirty. Watch the crap coming out of there. It's pretty dirty water coming out of it a minute ago. It has a pretty big radiator in it just to be cooling the uh, an engine. Let's back up, we're gonna get coated. We need to get that fine stuff right there. All that debris try and get that out of there because that makes a, a fire hazard. The diesel sloshes around right there and yeah it just makes a fire hazard so we're getting that cleaned up we're getting uh getting things started over here with the cutting well we're just getting I think we're only gonna cut just a little bit more here and then we're gonna be done uh we should be moving pretty soon to the other corner over there whenever our white contract truck gets back i'll put him on a low boy the puppy use our low boy mover but he's like i said he's, a, he's on the other job so yeah just a fun morning of vlogging and it's trying to rain and we're trying to clean stuff I guess we're just gonna turn this week into a maintenance fest. So, got keys. Uh, I got John Deere and Tire Cat keys on there, but anyway, here's the door open on the old loader here. It needs some new batteries. I gotta go get the Tire Cat skitter so Mickey don't slip and fall off the back of this loader. Even though he is tall enough to reach what he needs to reach in there. You know what these are good for? What? You better back off. <laughs> My nipples are precious. You have sensitive nipples? I do might. <laughs> oh, hell, I can stand right here and go up in there and get them. I didn't know that. Well, what we got going on here is these little eyelet thingies that Tiger Cat likes to put on down there instead of weld nuts like a sensible person. Every once in a while, Tiger Cat screws up somewhere. That's one of their faults right there. We're, uh, we're getting those clamped down and uh, I gotta get these on. Uh, somebody left the, not Mickey, Matthew, left the power switch on. And if you don't turn the power switch off on these loaders, it drains the battery in about a day and a half. 
and Matthew left it on last time we used it and it killed the batteries. You need to figure out a bad sale or something, maybe it's going to charge back up. And yeah, I think that's what happened to those. But it's been a while since we put batteries on these things. It ain't too bad. We just use old cheap Superstar stuff from O'Reilly's. It, uh, I think they're like a hundred. It's been a while since I've actually signed a ticket on one. But I want to say they're like 110 120 dollars a piece. Somewhere in there. But they're 950 cold cranking amps and it uh we never have any issues out of them. They the screw post type, not the they work good. I put one on my side by side and it keeps everything going good. <laughs> I need one for the winch on my race car trailer, so I'm gonna put these on and then a little overkill, but hey, <laughs> Man, I don't know. Mickey's gotta go load uh that's jacked up load for number one tomorrow, right? Uh, that's our last meal. Last meal load for today? Okay, that's right. We throw him behind by uh, moving track cutter. It's only one o'clock there, so he'll be back here about three o'clock for his last load, or first load for tomorrow, however you want to word it. And yeah. I'm never around this thing, and I'm always asked, do y'all have a dozer? Where's your dozer? Where's your dozer? You don't have a dozer? You're a logger, you don't have a dozer? No, I don't have a dozer. Dad has a dozer. This is our dozer. It stays on Dad's job because that job is paid for uh, to have a dozer. It is a 650K LGP wide track dozer. You can see it's very knee steel. The pads are still brand new on the inside. Uh, it's got all the cages and everything on the windows for working in the woods it is sold to us by doggett of course deer uh deer makes a dang good dozer but uh it's got this let's see what else it's got up here it's got this little old guard grate whatever you want to call it to help keep stuff from flipping back into the dozer uh it's pretty standard nothing really special we uh I said it never comes to my job unless something we're having to have something major done and the people that normally come fix our roads for us they can't get to it I'm sure my hair looks like crap in this it's been raining all evening here but anyway this is our dozer uh it don't come to my job unless it's a bad emergency they don't pay us for it on my job so it don't come to my job. His job, they get paid for it. Uh, so he has it. He builds like 90% of his own roads. Uh, his job works more like what you would expect a typical logging job to work, building roads ahead of themselves, etc., etc., cleaning the roads up behind themselves. Uh, but we got it here at the house, doing a little clearing here at the house. Uh, property, the way my property here runs, it used to, y'all see how those bushes, let me turn the camera, screen back on where those bushes right there, and then come over here to this dirt, and then just kind of follow this dirt around through here. It used to be really grew up like that over there. It used to, everything here that you see fresh pushed used to look just like that. So, uh, he brought the dozer in and got all the underbrush kind of tore down and left the trees. We don't want to tear our trees down. Got a big old pile of uh, bricks and cement and stuff. There used to be an old house place here years ago before we bought this place. See them big oaks and everything over there. The old house place used to be somewhere over in there. There's some old, used to be some old sheds and stuff standing out here with a bunch of junk. Uh, but yeah, so we're just kind of clearing this out we're going to continue to clear kind of in this area over here a little bit more to give uh just more area because there's there's like there's almost two acres here that we ain't doing anything with but figure i'll show you all the dozer uh I'm not sure where i'll include this clip but I figured i'd show you all the dozer i've never got to show the dozer probably won't ever hardly get to show it working which sucks because I'm sure the dozer videos would be killer. Same thing with the road grader. We got a road grader sitting over there too. I know you can't see that from here with the GoPro, but anyway, yeah, that's our dozer. <laughs>